This film will demonstrate how to correctly position a dog for radiography, as required for BVA, KC hip and elbow canine health schemes. There are some useful positioning aids that will facilitate accurate positioning. A radiolucent foam mattress for the x-ray table. The foam should be covered in an easily cleaned and disinfectable material, such as polythene, which is disposable. Radiolucent rigid or foam gutters. Radiolucent foam positioning shapes. Cling film or more permanent waterproof covers can be used for ease of cleaning. Ties and tape. Floppy sandbags. Left and right markers. The use of a grid warrants brief explanation. The physics of good radiographic practice means that a grid should be used for anatomy that is greater than 10 centimeters in thickness. Although modern imaging equipment is less sensitive to scatter, this basic principle must be followed. Conversely, a grid should not be used if the tissue is less than 10 centimeters thick. This will mean that a grid should be used for nearly all HD submissions. Very few breeds will have pelvic thickness less than 10 centimeters. A grid should not be used for elbows from any breed. To achieve accurate positioning and to comply with important safety legislation, all dogs will have to be anaesthetized or deeply sedated. For the HD scheme, a VD view of the pelvis is required. It should be centred on the hips, with the hips extended and the femora parallel. The dog is placed on the x-ray table in dorsal recumbency. Floppy sandbags are placed in the axillae to stabilise positioning. Additionally, the use of a gutter on the back may help keep the patient straight. The legs will then need to be extended cordially. Ties are used above the hocks so that the limbs are both parallel and even in length. Floppy sandbags can be used as weights or ties can be tied to cleats to stabilise positioning. If the hocks are not parallel check the symmetry of the body as a whole. Next, adduct the stifles so that the femora are parallel. It is often a good idea to get an assistant to help you do so. Ties or tape can be added just proximal to the stifles to maintain position. If the ties or tape are applied too close to the hips, the submission may be rejected. A surgeon's knot will stop the knotted ties slipping. Alternatively, you can use adhesive tape. It is useful to use a suitable sized foam block underneath the hocks and a floppy sandbag over the hocks to aid symmetrical positioning. The centering of the light beam should be in midline at the level of the hips. This centering can be checked using the great trochanters or pubic brim as landmarks. It is not essential to expose the stifles and the light beam can be reduced to include just the pelvic area. One of the most common errors is pelvic tilt. This is likely to happen unless the whole of the dog is straight. In this instance, we can see that the dog is tilting to the dog's left. Here is an example of good positioning. In order to maintain body temperature, Bubble wrap can be used as an insulator. Be sure, however, that it is kept out of the area of interest during exposure. Finally, here are some examples of common errors.